Hey guys, what's going on? Tonight I'm going to be doing a video on my recent pickups. It's nighttime where I'm at right now. I got an uh, action figure from a really close friend of mine today. I just got him today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have two Funkos, two CDs, and ten games. So I'll show the figure first, and it is MK11 Sub-Zero. Um, this morning he like sent me a message asking me, Scorpion or Sub-Zero? I was like, uh, Scorpion? But by the time I replied back to him, he already picked so i mean i'm not complaining it's still it's really really cool though can't wait to take them out and put them up on display but yeah uh next are the funkos so we have darth vader this is actually a christmas themed one and on the back you have c3po r2d2 yoda chewbacca and darth vader himself so i'm gonna take them out of the box And he's actually a bobblehead. He's actually just but yeah, there he is. Really nice, really like the detail on him. Really cool. So I'm just gonna put him back in there. Put him back in the box. Hopefully this won't take me forever. Oh cool. Okay. Didn't take me forever. Alright. Now that we got him done. Now, the animated debut of Boba Fett. Now, this was actually when... This was in the Star Wars Holiday Special. This is when Boba Fett was debuted. I'm not... I'm not a connoisseur when it comes to uh, Star Wars lore and, the, and, like, the whole universe. I know, like, bits and pieces, so... You know, please correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, really, really cool. As soon as I seen him, it, he, he really grabbed my attention. Because I've wanted to get one of the Fets for quite a while. Take him out of the packaging. He's also a bobblehead. So, yeah. Really cool. I like the detailing on him. And you have the jetpack there. It's really nice. Put him back. Hopefully he won't take me forever. So now that we got them out the way, next are the CDs. So we have Vinny Paz, As Above, So Below, his newest album that came out, I would say, a week and a half ago. <clears throat> but yeah. And what's cool is the insert for this, like the liner notes and stuff, actually doubles as the album cover. So if you want to put that up on your wall, you can do that. But I prefer to keep my stuff intact. I'm weird, I know. But yeah. Next is Diabolic, Liar and a Thief. This was not a cheap album. It was pretty pretty expensive. Not like, you know, murdering your wallet expensive. Well, sort of. Um, it was like 50 bucks, and that was the cheapest copy that I could find. Other people were selling it for like 70, 80, like two, even $100. So it's not a cheap album to come by. All right, and now we are going to the games. So first is Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. I've heard a lot of really good things about it, so I decided to get the game. And yeah, really nothing much to it. But it's, it's pretty good, I like it. Next is Prince of Persia, the 2008 remake. I will say this, this is definitely the weak, weakest Prince of Persia game in the series. I've, I've beaten you know, um, Sands of Time, Warrior Within, The Two Thrones, and The Forgotten Sands. And I just recently finished this one, and it's, it's, it's okay. It's not really all that great, but yeah. It's an open world game, but it's very empty, and you fight one enemy at a time. So my gripe with the first three games was there was two enemies to, to like, to fight at one time. But in this game, I'm complaining that there's only one guy to fight at a time. So, yeah, figure that out. Next is Pac-Man Championship Edition 2, which comes with a Galaga, Pac-Man, and Dig Dug, or the arcade game series. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, 
I played Pac-Man Championship Edition on the PlayStation 3. I think it was Championship Edition DX. I could be wrong, but it, it was a long time ago. But I remember playing that and really enjoying it. Uh, next is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. I am literally done with this game. I just got to finish the last part. And it's really good. I've played the first, all three of the Uncharted games. I haven't played the PS Vita exclusive one. I don't remember what that one's called. I think it's called like Dark Abyss or Lost Abyss or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, UFC 2. I played UFC 3 at a friend's house and I really enjoyed playing it. So decided to get UFC 2. And yeah, it's pretty fun. The only UFC game I've played was um, Undisputed 2009 on PS3. And that was like the very first... Uh, UFC game, I think, but I could be wrong. I could have sworn there was one on PlayStation 2. That might have been. I don't know. Well, in terms of the Undisputed series, that was the first one that I ever played. Next is SSX3. I have the remake of SSX, and it's really cool. So I decided to, and this was the only one that they had, so I picked it up. And, yeah, I really like it. I plan on getting the first two um, tricky as well as on tour because I know those are really really good games uh, Soldier of Fortune Gold Edition actually is pretty good pretty cool pretty cool game um, you actually get to blow people's limbs off and I'm not exaggerating like it's comedic like you shoot a dude in the leg and his entire leg comes clean off so it's 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 funny it's not realistically violent it's like comedic it's like comedy violent <clears throat> next is just cause i wasn't sure if it was just cuz or just cause uh, until i asked a friend and he was like it's just cause i was like okay cool i didn't want to say the name wrong so but i've heard this game is pretty cool and the series as a whole is really good um playing this game for the first time i noticed something rather funny the character's running animation looks like he has a stick shoved up his ass. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. And now that now that I thought that, I can't unsee it. Every time I play, it just it just looks funny. So yeah. Uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. This is I think a remake of the first Tomb Raider game that came out for the PlayStation years ago. Um. I've only played the remake. I've somewhat, like, well, forget from beginning to end, I played the Tomb Raider remake. From my childhood, I played Tomb Raider 2, and I died a whole bunch of times, and yeah, that's, that's always fun. It's what I'm currently playing on the PS2 right now. Once I finish Uncharted 4, I'm immediately going to start playing this again and finish it, so yeah, I like it. I mean, there's certain times where Laura doesn't do things that I want her to do, and it's kind of kind of infuriating like when i have her use her her rope to swing from one area to the other she doesn't do it so it didn't and that makes me i end up dying because of that on certain points but it's still a fun game though and lastly is van helsing movie tying games are my guilty pleasure um i enjoy them some are good others are god awful but the ones that i've played are have actually been pretty good so that's a good thing um i've heard this played like devil may cry so i decided I, I had to get it and see if it did and it does it does so and they actually have Hugh jackman in the game like he does the voiceover for van helsing which is pretty cool i wonder if they have all the other actors from the movie play like their characters in the game as well i don't know maybe so yeah that's um my recent pickups, not a whole lot, but it's enough. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Have a good night. Most importantly, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.